Today we're going to look at the cancer fighting abilities of turmeric. Turmeric is a plant root that gives a bright yellow color to curries. It has been used for medicinal purposes in India and China for a very long time. The active ingredient in turmeric is curcumin. Cancer is a disease in which some of the body cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. It's a complex process and certain compounds in our foods can inhibit this uncontrollable growth or even kill the cancer cells. Extensive research over the past two decades suggests that curcumin interferes with multiple cell signaling pathways, which then inhibits cancer cell development and inhibits its ability to spread. In a 2012 study published in the European Journal of Cancer Prevention, researchers found that curcumin had the ability to inhibit signaling pathways of lung cancer cells. A 2016 study confirmed that curcumin is a polyphenolic phytochemical compound that has established anti-inflammatory properties and is known to exert its anti-inflammatory effects by interrupting the signaling pathways of cancer cells at multiple stages. Chemotherapy is the main approach for the treatment of metastatic tumors. However, it is associated with some serious side effects. These include bone marrow suppression, neurotoxicity, gastrointestinal reactions, and liver and kidney damage. Natural compounds like curcumin are particularly interesting because they are non-toxic and do not have the negative side effects of chemotherapy drugs. In a 2017 review article published in the Journal of Experimental Pharmacology, researchers found that curcumin regulates not only the various pathways of the immune system, cell cycle checkpoints, apoptosis, and antioxidant response, but also numerous intracellular targets, including pathways and protein molecules controlling tumor progression. A number of studies also saw the beneficial effects of using curcumin to enhance the positive effects of chemotherapy and to minimize the negative side effects. This effect was also seen in a 2013 study on colorectal cancer. Combining curcumin with conventional chemotherapy agents could provide more effective treatment strategies against chemo-resistant colon cancer cells. In an article published in 2020, researchers found that turmeric improved quality of life for patients on breast cancer chemotherapy. In a 2005 study, researchers found that curcumin suppresses growth and induces cell death in primary effusion lymphoma. In an article published in 2008 of patients with advanced pancreatic cancer, Researchers found that oral curcumin is well tolerated and despite its limited absorption has biological activity. It was a small study of 21 patients and showed some potential for using turmeric. In a 2017 in vitro study, researchers found some effectiveness of curcumin to inhibit bladder cancer progression. In a 2019 review article published in the journal Nutrients, 
Researchers found that curcumin affects different signaling pathways and molecular targets involved in the development of several types of cancer. They concluded that curcumin represents a promising candidate as an effective anti-cancer drug to be used alone or in combination with other drugs. One of the key problems with the therapeutic use of curcumin has been its low bioavailability. However, a 2020 article published in Molecules showed that different formulations of curcumin has led to the development of highly bioavailable forms of curcumin that have over a hundredfold better absorption than unformulated curcumin. Researchers concluded that appropriate human pharmacological studies can now be conducted knowing that desirable blood levels of the active forms of curcumin are achievable. To increase the bioavailability of curcumin in turmeric, it's a good idea to add black pepper. Black pepper has a compound called piperine that enhances the absorption of curcumin in our bodies by up to 2,000%. It appears that a small amount of black pepper will be enough. Some studies use a ratio of 10 to 1 of turmeric to black pepper while some websites used a quarter teaspoon of black pepper for every one teaspoon of turmeric. It's generally safe to use turmeric in food and tea. However, it is important to consult your doctor before taking supplements or any higher amounts of turmeric. Herbal supplements are stronger than the herbs you would normally use in cooking. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.